Hi, my name's Julie. I'm 25 years old. I've worked for Boarding for Breast Cancer for five years. When I was 21, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and I hadn't graduated college yet. I was doing breast cancer research actually and I knew what it was. I went to my ob gyn on a Friday. They scheduled surgery for me on Monday. Thanks to all the experiences that I've had with boarding for breast cancer, it, it really helped me mentally get through that time. My name is Shannon Dunn. I'm a professional snowboarder and one of the co-founders of Boarding for Breast Cancer. Boarding for Breast Cancer was created in honor of a close friend who was diagnosed with breast cancer at 26 and passed at 29. We want to continue educating young women about breast cancer because it doesn't discriminate with age. You know, we're in the snowboard industry, let's do an event to raise awareness and money for breast cancer research. And let's just do something because it didn't feel good for her to die at such a young age. My name is Beth Lucia, I'm 35 years old and I'm a breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed when I was 28 after basically I found my first cyst when I was 18 and I had to push doctors to give me mammograms because I was so young. I had a double mastectomy the day after my 29th birthday followed by about seven reconstructive surgeries. I had carcinoma in site too, so I didn't actually go through radiation and chemotherapy. My mindset was, not only am I gonna fight this, but there's nobody here my age. I'm you know, 29 years old now, and the lady in the bed next to me was 57. You know, I really wanted to get involved with a group that made sure that young people knew what was going on because at that time I was one of the youngest people that had been uh, diagnosed with breast cancer. Hi, my name is Cassie Metter. I'm a professional longboarder and I am a very big supporter of boarding for breast cancer. Just less than a year ago my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and it's just made me more aware about my health and I think it's very important to be proactive with your own health and your family and friends health. And that way you guys can all live long and happy healthy lives. Hi, my name is Megan Abuwo. I support Boarding for Breast Cancer because it's a really good cause and because my family's been affected by breast cancer. My sister was 27 years old. She first got diagnosed with breast cancer and uh, her boyfriend found a lump and uh, her doctors thought it would be nothing and uh, turned out that she had stage one of breast cancer which is pretty early stages of breast cancer and uh, she did everything to try and you know, get rid of the cancer. She had a lumpectomy and chemotherapy and radiation and uh, she went on a tamoxifen drug, a drug called tamoxifen for about four years and unfortunately a year ago she got re-diagnosed with breast cancer and now at 34 she's had breast cancer since she was 27 and she's fighting again and you know she's just finishing up all her chemo treatments again and uh, unfortunately she had to uh, you know get a double mastectomy but my sister's a really positive person and we're all supportive of her and um, just to be able to to see boarding for breast cancer like you know an athlete's involved in in the cause it, it you know I, I'd love to try and do as much as I could because so many people are affected by this cancer and so many people close to them and uh, definitely like to make younger girls aware of, of the disease and uh, maybe precautions to like hopefully not be able to you know hopefully be able to catch breast cancer in an early age. And Hi I'm Todd Richards and I support boarding for breast cancer. When the girls told me that over 30 percent of all lumps are detected by a woman's partner I thought it was worth my attention. My name is Jenna Bryan. And I'm Bob Bernquist, and we're professional skateboarders. We support boarding for breast cancer because... This year, over 217,000 people will be diagnosed with breast cancer. And of that number, over 215,000 are women, and 1,400 are men. I was about to grab your breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Kayla Kennelly. I'm a professional surfer. I support boarding for breast cancer because one in eight women will develop breast cancer over the course of their life. Hi, I'm Terry Dikitas. I'm a professional snowboarder and I support boarding for breast cancer. I don't have any stories in my immediate circle, friends or my family, but I've heard stories outside. In fact, I was talking to a guy last night that lost his wife seven years ago and left three children behind. So 
This is an important age for men and women, young boys, young girls, to find out about breast cancer and the ramifications that, you know, are there with it. To be able to walk into that booth and stand there and make it a comfortable situation for somebody who knows somebody who's going through it means a lot. And the venue that this booth, the different venues that this booth goes to, really, um, it's important. These are important venues. Hi, I'm Kate Scarrett, and I've had a personal experience with breast cancer. My mum died at 40 years of age and was actually diagnosed really young at 35. My grandmother and my auntie also had breast cancer, so it's pretty prominent in my family. I just stress to everyone how important it is to check yourself regularly and see your doctor. And I support great causes like boarding for breast cancer. Hi, I'm Tony Hawk. I'm a professional skateboarder and I support boarding for breast cancer. A woman will die of breast cancer every 13 minutes, and in the United States alone, one million have died of breast cancer since 1970. My name is Rob Machado. I'm a professional surfer, and I support boarding for breast cancer because I'm concerned about the health of my wife, daughter, and my mother. Hi, my name is Kelly Slater. I'm a professional surfer, and I support boarding for breast cancer. Cancer became a part of my life when I lost my dad to it. Boarding for Breast Cancer teaches young men and women about the importance of a healthy lifestyle, healthy diet, and regular exercise. So being proactive with your health at a young age can make a huge difference in your life. I'm Tina Bassage, and I support Boarding for Breast Cancer. I have girls come up to me and say, I found Boarding for Breast Cancer on the web, or they saw our educational booth, or they saw one of our um, sports and music festivals, and since then they've had a friend or a mother, or they've found a lump and detected it early enough to do something about it. Early detection plus healthy lifestyles equals best prevention. With your help, we can reach those people that need to know the facts about breast cancer. I support boarding for breast cancer. I support boarding for breast cancer. I support boarding for breast cancer. And I support boarding for breast cancer. Thank you for supporting boarding for breast cancer. We're making a difference.